Let's do connections. We're finding four groups of four. We have mobile followers, shovels, buffalo. <laughs> what are we shoveling from the buffalo? Uh, likes, insults, shares, and sheep. I mean, I'm seeing like followers, likes, insults, and shares, right? This feel, no, not insults, sorry. <laughs> Wait, insults are things that happen uh, on social media, but I'm seeing social media things, likes, followers, shares. Let's see. Sheep, uh, we got apartment billings, puppet options. Apart billings is the favorite thing apartments do, by the way. Uh, it's their absolute favorite. Okay, equity phoenix and stocks lemmings. Lemmings is interesting. So lemmings and puppets, like lemmings are something, someone that'll follow anyone. Puppets, sheep, um, followers maybe? Hmm. Is there another one that might make sense too? Because I thought followers might be social media, but that could also be a red herring. Um, I am going to try this actually. There we go. Okay. Conformists. <laughs> Sheeple. All right. So we've got Phoenix and Buffalo. These are cities. I think Billings is a city. I don't know where it is. Is it in New York? I don't actually know. Uh, what would be another city though? I don't see another city. So maybe it's not that. Okay. Um, Equity and stocks are an, an options. These are just stock market terms. What's another stock market term? Shares, obviously. Okay. Yeah. So what they did is they took, they took followers, shares, and likes as a red herring for social media uh, things, and then they split them up into three categories. That seems to be something they like to do to construct these puzzles. Okay. So what's left here? We have the blue and the purple. This might be tough. Buffalo is interesting. Like, I still feel like Buffalo and Phoenix are just cities, but what did they construct with likes? Kind of a good question. Can we do a play on words like bikes or <laughs> I don't know. Um, hmm. Maybe I think about a different word. Apartment. Like what could apartment actually go with? I really don't see. Buffalo, Phoenix. I mean, they aren't capital cities because Buffalo is not capital of New York. I'm seeing likes and insults and shovels just as like they end in S, right? They're, they're, they're third person verbs. He likes, he shovels, he insults. I'm wondering if like it, Billings isn't a third person verb though, but I wonder if that's a hint. We've also got mobile or mobile or mobile, <laughs> any of those definitions. Um, Billings, I feel like Billings is the last name of someone. I don't know who. Billings, obviously. <laughs> but I don't have context for that. There's Joaquin Phoenix. Is it Amanda Billings? Uh, I don't know what else would be a last name. There's Mark Ruffalo. Um, I wonder. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, I, I, <laughs> I have no idea what's going on with these last words. Why is it so hard? This was, this was going so well, too. It's tempting just to lock in the ones that end in S. Uh, I don't know if that's right, though. Okay, we can do like mobile home. Is there another like home? Like apartment is a home. Nothing else is really a home, though. A phoenix is a bird. Mythical bird that rises from the ashes. Is there anything like that? I feel like every time it's been phoenix, it's been Joaquin Phoenix, though. <laughs> I really feel that way. Um, okay, so... What else sounds like a last name? Apartment, not really. Likes, not really. Shovels, no. Insults. So I'm going to go with mobile as a last name. I don't know. We're going to try this and see if it's one away or anything like that. Wait, that was right. U.S. cities. Oh. I was right for the wrong reason. I actually thought it was U.S. cities from Buffalo, Phoenix, and Billings. I did not know mobile was a city. Uh, where is mobile? I'll have to look that up. All right. I will look it up after we're done. Likes, apartment, insults, and shovels. I... I still don't know what this is, though. Apartment just feels like it doesn't belong with those. Studio apartment. Studio insults. <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm not going to figure this one out, so I'm just going to hit submit and see what it says. What digs might mean? Oh my gosh, never, never in my lifetime. I get it, though. Your digs, your apartment, you can call it your digs. Digs is an insult. You can dig something and you like it, or you literally dig, you shovel. Okay. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I, I would not have come up with that one. That is so lateral. Holy cow. Um, at least I got the U.S. cities, which I thought was last names. <laughs> but I also thought it was cities, so I don't know. 
it, it made sense. I don't think any of these would have been cities, so it's fine. All right, well, let's look up mobile and where that is. I also want to find out where Billings is, so both of those. Okay, Billings is Montana, so <laughs> definitely not New York. Um, so Billings, Montana, and then we've got Mobile, Alabama, or Mobile, or I don't know how to pronounce it. Okay. <laughs> Population 187,000. Cool. Well, how'd you do? Let's do the mini crossword for Sunday, June 2nd. Let's go. Fixture in a skate park. Um, I'm not sure. Evergreen tree with aromatic wood. Hmm. I'm not sure either. Inadvisable way to tackle an entire large pizza? Uh, I don't know. Do they mean like eating the whole thing at once? Wow, I can't figure out any of these. Host of the 2024 Summer Olympics. Is it Paris? I think it's Paris. Corporate boss for short. Um, like the CEO? Not sure. Uh, chill. Hmm. Absolutely love. A door? Manic pixie dream girl. Manic pixie dream girl. Movie trope. Uh, White House title abbreviated. President? Um, oh, probably POTUS, right? Oh, no, that doesn't fit. President of the United States, POTUS. Hmm, I don't know. Okay, superhero garment. A cape. No capes. All right, fixture in a skate park. Um, I have the AM. Let's see. A ramp? Oh, that kind of skating. Like, uh, I, I kept thinking, um, like ice skating. Evergreen tree with aromatic wood. Cedar. Okay. Inadvisable way to tackle an entire large pizza. At uh, at one. All alone. Alone. There we go. Oh, prez for president. Okay. Corporate boss for short. Exec. Got it. Okay. I was worried for a bit. Um, relax was chill. Okay. And I think I saw all the other ones. Cool. Well, how'd you do? Let's do strands for June 2nd. Today's theme is nailed it. Uh, I'm looking for hammer. <laughs> we got a Z here. That's interesting. A single Z. Hmm. It's easy. <laughs> All right. So nailed it. Could be a few things. I'm thinking literally for now. I see file. Okay. So it is tools. Um, is hammer here? I'm looking for hammer. We would need two M's near each other, and I don't see it. Okay, what about, like, screwdriver? I don't see that. Okay, uh, we, how about a, some kind of saw? Hmm. Am I, am I wrong? Oh, no, no, no. Nails as in nails. Okay, as in on your fingers. So do we have polish? Um, do we have... Uh, nail cutters. <laughs> okay, manicure. Manicure is our spanogram. Nice. Okay, so let let's see if I, <laughs> see if I can figure these out. We have two F's here. Buff. You buff your nails. Okay, and then we've got and it's something ending in I I Z E. What are, what are we doing here? Such sutries. <laughs> um, interesting. I'm thinking it's like odorize. I can't quite simodorize. <laughs> okay, I'm going to come back to that and see if it's one or two words after I get the rest. Uh, we've got based. You based your nails, obviously. <laughs> All right, what, what are we doing here? It's. Um, I'm anticipating in the comments several. This one was for the ladies with that with that nail emote. I'm, I'm anticipating that. Uh, don't disappoint me. Um, you can color your nails. All right. You can clean your nails. No, <laughs> you don't clean your nails. Okay. Um, I can't believe it wouldn't be clip, though. You can clip your nails. Okay. Um, what's going on with this B here? It's not based, apparently. I really feel like it has to be like B-A-S. Hmm. I need to get my wife in here <laughs> and have her finish it for me. Um, it's not clean. So what is it? Cl cleans? Clean cleaners no can't do can't quite do that 
All right. So what are we doing with this area then? I don't know why I see Baster. I don't know. I don't even know what that would mean, but it doesn't mean anything apparently. Um, I have these two P's, which really makes me think we're doing like a P-P-E-R or something. Is the word acrylic here? No, there's no Y. Um, I'm trying to think of what other nail things are happening here. So what else happens in a manicure? I've never had a manicure. Honestly, the biggest reason is I have a perfume sensitivity. A lot of fragrance, fragrances uh, give me allergic reactions, and so I can't go into places like nail salons and um, like perfume shops and things like that. Just really causes me issues. Um, let's see. All I see is based. I can't get over based. I don't know why you'd baste your nails. Oh, this is moisturize. I finally see it. Okay. Um, doesn't really help me. There's three words over here. I guess that helps. Serenade. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, are we, are we doing like an L C E or C L E? I don't know. I'm trying to, trying to logic this out, but I can't think what these words are. I hope you are not struggling as much as me because this is tough for me. I can't get over clean cleanser there. Wait, not cleanser. I think that's O R. I don't know. Is it? It accepted it. How how do we do this? Clean cleanse, just cleanse. Okay, there we go. Two words here, so they're short. Pepper, <laughs> repot, just base. It's just base. Oh, so what what is base for nails? And then topper. Oh, okay, so your your base. Yeah, they put on the base before they put on the the color. Okay. And then I guess a topper, are those like the, the little like sparklies and other things that they would put on top of? So you do the base, then the color, then the topper? Okay, that might make sense. Cool. Um, yeah, <laughs> this one was for the ladies. <laughs> All right, leave that comment and anything else you'd like. And uh, how'd you do? Thank you.